Hi, I'm Ryan at Clever Touch, working in the education team here. Today, I'm just going to show you how you can use the splitting and slicing tools in Lynx Whiteboard uh, lesson preparation software. Uh, if you want to have some more tips on the Lynx Whiteboard preparation software, please do feel free to go to our YouTube channel. Just search for Clever Touch onto YouTube or have a look at our home learning section via clevertouch.com. Um, Lynx Whiteboard is the free lesson desktop so, uh, preparation software. It works on, on any device that you, you may have in school. So please feel free to download and, and have a play with there. So what we're going to do today, as I say, is have a look at the, the slicing tools that we have on here and the splitting tools and the variety of tools that you might find in this little space here. So initially, when you come into your Lynx Whiteboarding software, we're going to be looking at the eraser icon, which is just on the, on the, the pen tool, which is just on the bottom tray there. I'm just going to move and slide my... Uh, pages to the side so we've got a, a more of a full window here and I'm just going to use from the eraser tool here just drag my slider along and I'm going to come to the first kind of cropping tool which is a rectangular crop on there so I'm just going to tap on the pen at the bottom just to minimize that window so if I'd like to select a rectangular object from a page and just take a snip from that I've selected my eraser tool and changed it by sliding along to the rectangular crop and then from there, I'm just going to drag my finger out onto the page to select the area that I wish to, to, to snip. And then I'm just going to use my cursor icon and move that object about. So nice and quick and easy way to take a rectangular section from, uh, from an image or from some content, drag out into the workspace. And then when you need to, you can move that to wherever you need to on your page. Okay. So the next tool we're going to have a look at from here, just going to come back to my little tool at the bottom, my cropping tool. And instead of cropping rectangular, this time I'm going to be doing a freehand crop, which just gives me a little more control over the area that I want to manage. So I'm just going to try and cut out uh, St. Stephen's Tower here, sometimes called Big Ben, and uh, just slide that around the shape. And when I'm happy with that, once I release my, my uh, contact with the screen that will allow me to have a sliced area there so it's moved back to my finger tool and then I can easily and uh, nicely quickly move that content around into my workspace just gives the user a little bit more control over the area that they want to snip and be more precise with your cuts so just moving on to the next page and the next tool that we have from our little slider here after the cropping rectangular and freehand is going to be my slice tool and this will allow you as you can see from the pizza cutter uh, icon down at the bottom now this would allow me just to slice an object in half so if I wanted to I could just drag my finger down the middle of the page you can see a slight uh, crack comes into the image and then I can just move that image away from there and obviously if I come back to the tool and highlight the tool then I can just divide my images up into different sections if I need to okay so that's the slicing tool that we have on here the next tool we have on our next page I slide my slider along, is going to be my split tool. It's a really useful tool, particularly if you're looking at something like equivalent fractions or fractions in, in class. So this, this slicing tool, this, uh, sorry, the splitting tool will work on um, rectangles, squares and circles. So all I'm going to do with this tool highlighted is drag my finger down and you can see that I'm now getting divisions on my shape and then I can drag it either right or left and that will subdivide that shape. So now with the cursor highlighted, I can then separate that object out into its different component parts. If I come back to my splitting tool here. If I drag around my circle, and again, once I release, I'll be able to pull those sections apart. And again, with the square, I can drag down the page and across in order to create my little divisions. Nice and quick and nice and easy to pull those apart. Really useful, like I say, in those uh, lessons where you have things like equivalent fractions, what we can do, for example, is highlight a particular shape or a particular segment of a shape. And then from our spanner tool at the side, I drag my menu out up at the top where I have my little red rectangle is my fill section. So if I needed to, I could very quickly and easily change the color of my shapes over here. You can see very quickly, I've got a nice question for my children in terms of what fraction of the circle is green, what fraction of the circle is red, etc. etc. So, nice, quick, easy way to use, use the splitting and slicing tools in, in the Clever Touch uh, whiteboard software splitting, slicing, and cropping.
Okay, don't forget to check out our YouTube channel, as we said, and have a look, see if you can find some more useful videos uh, on there that can help you in, in your classroom as you go through the year.